Hey Tubesters, it's Aaron Forsong, the Bougie Mystic. Um, first of all, I want to say I am so sorry. Um, I don't know what happened exactly, but somehow I just completely forgot to record the video. Um, somehow I thought I did mine last night already, and I thought I had it uploading. Um, I definitely remember wanting to do it, and saying, oh, I should do it, and I really thought I did already, and I was, uh... I don't know, I was just looking at the prompts and then I realized, oh shit, I didn't do it yet. So, we're going to play some catch-up today. Um, I'm going to do yesterday's prompt, and then I'm going to do today's prompt. I am going to put them in separate videos, um, just because I, I want them to have their own honorary video. So, today's prompt, I also don't actually know what today's prompt is, now that I think about it, so... We're just gonna do them one at a time. So today's prompt is all about um, how you connect with the natural world this Samhain or in the season, so, something of, of, of the source. I'm not the best at remembering the verbiage of these prompts, but I do get the gist of what the question is. So uh, the way that I do is like, I usually will just walk around. I like to, I, I'm a big believer that it takes four years for you to really connect with the, the land you live on. Um, because it takes the, uh, part of it's because of numerology and four being a number of stability, but also just from experience. And then also just, you know, it takes time to see what repetitive patterns are actually happening. Um, and also, what's different because not every season is going to be the same every year even if you see the same animals even if you have the same plants or whatever it's, it's going to react differently the weather itself is going to make the season different you don't always get snow every winter and even if you are in an area that always gets snow it's not always the same time it's not always for the same length of time it's not always the same amount of snow um, and then there's also like the melting process, you know, it might melt faster, it might melt and freeze, some years you may get ice more than others, so it's just, yeah, there are things that are repetitive, but there's also things that are unique per the season, so I just personally believe that you need to live in an area of four years plus, um, to really get a sense of the land and, and how the spirits interact with the cycle of the earth in that in that particular um, corner of the earth, if you will. Um, so as for how I connect with it, um, I just walk around. I observe, I, I, I also people watch. Um, I feel like a lot of people, they talk about like the animals, they talk about the plants, they say they walk around nature. And I do that too, to a certain extent. Um, but I also look at the community. How does the community act and that's really going to be a difference. That's where some of the major differences will be when you live in an area. Because um, people are animals too. Whether if our egos want to admit it or not. Whether if society is, you know, I don't want to say progressive because there's nothing progressive about following facts and truth. But whether they're willing to acknowledge it or not, we are scientifically part of the animal kingdom. Specifically the mammal kingdom. So we, by nature, are part of the fauna of the grand collective being earthlings, right? Anyway, before I go on some tangent of talking about, you know, interconnectedness of life and all that shit, um, I, I just watch what the people do. I, I see what, what are they buying, you know? What, what, what smells are in the air? What what plants are they growing? Do they have a garden? Uh, what's the behavior of these people? And how do they interact with the wildlife? Do they interact? How does their life affect the life around them? And, and how does it change throughout the seasons? That, that's how I connect with the season. Um, so like for, I guess we'll just say, to me, Samhain isn't the pinnacle of autumn. Um, in my Samhain salutation, which I have one for each sabat, but for Samhain it says pre-winter. Um, I was always taught and under the understanding that the equinoxes and solstices 
were the peak of the season. And so that means that Mavon, or Mabone, however you say it, or just the autumn equinox, is the peak of autumn. And then everything post that is the waning of autumn and the, the uh, gradient blend of waning from autumn and waxing into winter. Um, so I, I, I pay attention to, you know, how sometimes the winds come in. This is the time where the crows come in. This is also the time, especially at my friend's house in, um, in Chula Vista, uh, they kind of do like almost like a neighborhood migration during like sunset in particular they'll start flying into the trees and everything like that. And I don't know if they necessarily stay there, but they definitely fly there and kind of congregate for at least a little while and then they'll either leave or they go to their nest or whatever it is, right? Um, so that that's something that happens at this season. There's also the, uh, everyone's doing, uh, things that are really big here is like family photos or children photos or things like that. So they're like, and it's not just Christmas, like where I lived before previous places, they really would only do like Christmas photos, like family photos, or maybe even like Easter as well. So they do like a winter or a spring one, but here now they'll do like all of them, you know, for all the seasons pretty much. So like, they'll be like, you know, barbecue grilling and, and, or beach photos in the summer there'll be you know like easter photos in the spring or and sometimes they'll get like really like specific like a like a, a photographer and they'll get like a whole like pre-stage setup of course they do like the whole christmas thing but they'll also do autumn ones too like with uh, bales of hay or stalks of corn and wheat um uh, pumpkins, you know, all, all things of that nature. Uh, apple picking, that happened more like Maybon. Between Lamas and Maybon is when the apple picking was really happening. But in here, you know, people have already, you know, been getting their pumpkins and, and they're doing pumpkin carving. There's pumpkin painting uh, activities that you can sometimes find around here. Um, there's also like sometimes wine and paint. We're encroaching upon a uh, like beer fest and people like uh, starting to do like little like uh, not just bar hopping like that happens kind of all the time but like where there's like uh, breweries and things of that nature is like coming to be like a, a little celebration um, what else uh, people have like already put out like their Halloween decorations there's n not a lot of people decorate for Halloween but there is some that like put up like these big like, uh, like blow ups or things of that nature um, yeah, so that that stuff. I I'm, I could go on and on, but that that's what I'm a I'm a stick with, you know. Uh, yeah, because I still got to record the other bit. So <laughs> sorry for being late. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. And uh, oh wait, I almost forgot to do. I swear, I've been almost forgetting every single damn time. So today's witchy shout out is Persian Mystic. I'm gonna link their uh, stuff down below, so definitely check them out. I just found them like maybe a week or two before this tag, so I'm still pretty new of a subscriber myself, but I did enjoy their content. And everyone that I've been sharing, I'm pretty sure, is like still uploading stuff. Some may be more um, uh, like consistent or frequent rather than others, but everyone is uh, uploading. So definitely check them out and uh, see if you like that content and give them a, a little subscribe and some love. All right, uh, see you soon because I'm about to upload this and then record the next video. As always, thank you for watching. Abundant and eternal blessings. Mwah.